<clears throat> Shalom. Let's start out with giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The morning to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully let Coming at you with another quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. No willingness lesson may be edifying. And I uh, screenshotted these yesterday <clears throat> when, I seen them, when I seen them on a, a social media page. And this is just another prime example of an all out attack on the people. Especially here in America, Babylon the Great. All right, so I'm gonna scroll through a different couple images, you know, of different uh, products that he has on his shelf, which he knows for a fact is killing the people. All right. Now, as you can see, the U.S. version and the U.K. version. The U.S. has about uh, what? Let's say about ten, maybe twelve to fifteen more ingredients than a. Uh, what the UK version has. Not saying the UK version, you know, uh, is still the best thing to eat, but I'm just showing you how the US has, is putting more damaging ingredients in their products to what? To further destroy you, to further destroy the people. Because their mission is to destroy the people, okay? Destroy the people's uh, physical, uh, uh, mental, and, and spiritual. Uh, uh, cells, right? So these are the uh, Doritos, okay? <clears throat> Oatmeal, right? Same thing. Look, look how much more ingredients that the U.S. put in it. You see, and a lot of these things uh, <clears throat> we eat and drink that's labeled with uh, like as you see uh. The artificial color, the red 40, the blue one, the yellow five, uh, and, and the many other other things. Bro, these are, are linked to uh and did no, this is not no no medical advice or anything like that. This is just a video to show forth of you know the damaging products that we consume. Okay? Just to throw that out there, because you know, Esau like to play games. You know, talking about misinformation and all that. No, this this is this is uh, proven facts, right? But yeah, they are linked to uh, you know, a lot of problems. You know, this you know the C A N C E R, you know, and and many other things. And that's a shame we got to do that, right? You allow all this harmful. Uh, music to be promoted because you didn't weaponize the music right music was to be you know relax you know be merry hearted and things like that but you weaponize the music where you know when people hear the vibration of the music you know they tune to it you know they they're they're, they're in the wrong tune okay they're in the tune of a of, of a wicked uh, satan satanic vibration right just more ways to prove that you're the devil but anywho, Mountain Dew. You see? And uh I had, I stopped drinking pop for I think maybe nine months maybe and I uh <laughs> I ended up slipping up and uh drunk maybe in the past uh three months I might have had say roughly about maybe three or four. But other than that, yeah, I, I'm I'm not really dealing with pop like that. Okay? It's damaging. I definitely cut off energy drinks, you know. I cut them things right off, you know. I was doing that along with the pop. I just never went back to the uh, rib, uh, different energy drinks that I was uh, consuming. Even with those, like those are damaging to the body, you know. But it's like whatever E puts in these things, it's like it's, it's addictive. You know, you got a lot of addictive ingredients where, this is where people consume or could they continue to consume. Okay. Campbell soup. <laughs> that corn syrup is terrible, right? And this is Australia. Yep, Australia. Okay. Hey, because a lot of these countries, <clears throat> I know it's over thirty plus countries, you know, or even more. They got they banned U.S. foods, you know. You you know they they ban them they don't they don't have the same thing that the U.S. got you know they have some more of a sense or 
care for their people, so to speak. So to speak, right? Well, for the most part, they got more care than um, for their people in America, Babylon the Great. Let's continue. Another one, Australia. You see? Always that look, that red 40, the blue one, the yellow six. Canada. You know, and I'm just, you know, flipping fl uh, flipping through the screen just to show you. All right. Sunny D. And that might be it. So let's get this. What does the scripture say? The book of Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13, it says, Then Yahweh, let me see. Let's start, a bar, let's start at uh, 11, it says. Then measure out a jar of water. Let me see. Let's go further down. <coughs> now this is the Lord talking to Ezekiel. He says, now go and get some wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, millet, and, and emmer wheat and mix them together. In a storage jar. Use them to make bread for yourself during the 390 days. Uh, you will be lying on your side. Ration this out to yourself. Eight ounces of food for each day and eat it at eat and eat it at times. Then measure out a jar of water for each day and drink it at set times. Prepare and prepare and eat this food as you would as you will barley cakes. While all the people are watching, bake it over a fire using cry or using dry salakia, human dung as fuel, and then eat the bread. So the Lord told Ezekiel, was go measure all these things out. But guess what also I want you to do? I want you to mix it and eat it with human dung. You see? Human dung, what the Lord told Ezekiel. Okay? And then he, and he was in the process of what? Uh, measuring things out. Uh, Herod, America, Babylon, and Great. You know, for the most part, okay, you can consume as much food and drinks as you please, okay? We're li really living in, you know, uh, a time of complete gluttony. You know, this is why they have, you know, 24-hour uh, fast food, fast food places, you know, 24-hour um, supermarkets, uh, you know, all-you-can-eat buffets because they don't, they don't care. If you uh, of how much you eat or how much you consume, they don't care if you destroy yourself. You know the thing is not about uh, uh, health. You know to them, to Esau, the elite, it's about wealth because they gain money off you being sick. And who's the main one on the top list of being sick? Jake. Jake, you leave every lead in every category of dealing with your health and your uh, and your sickness. Okay, and the and the obesity rate amongst uh, America is insane okay it is absolutely insane you know but these are the things that's being promoted you know of of your health is not wealth right but esau knows if he tears down your health he continues to gain wealth by keeping you sick keeping you in the hospitals keeping you on all this different medication and you know so forth and so on so let's continue it says then the lord said this is how israel will eat the foul bread and in the Gentile lands, which I will banish them. You see, and this is what we're dealing with today. Right? This is what we're dealing with today of eating this defiled bread. Okay, defiled everything. If you want to uh, think about it. That's one of them things where you almost, you got to pray. You know, we always talk about pray without season, which you should always do. But man, you got to pray with the different things you eat and drink. Because you got to think about it. You be like, I don't even know how I'm still living. <laughs> eating all this madness, this garbage. That's being pushed out here on the forefront. You know, and we've been eating these things for since we was young. You know, the thing is now is be, uh, being older, you know, I can taste the difference in everything. I can taste the difference in, well, I don't, I don't even drink milk like that because I'm uh, lactose intolerant. I might have ice cream every here and there, but I don't even drink milk anymore. Um, you can taste the difference in cheese. You can taste the difference in uh, all, all the meats, you know, different juices, cereals, whatever you name it. Guarantee everybody's going to have the same mindset and say, yep, I can taste the difference. And I'm in my 30s. So I know the brothers, you know, in 40s and 50s definitely know the difference. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is something that we would, we would go through. You know, and this is a, a war. 
You know, E E has <laughs> E is, is is on a war path, and he has what? He has weaponized everything to ultimately destroy you. All right, let's get this. The book of um, I think I want to get Ephesians, Ephesians chapter six. Verse uh, 12, right back in the NLT, it says, uh, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Yep, we're dealing with the higher-ups. You see, these are the ones who are pushing and promoting this madness. Okay, whatever you want to think of, the food, the music, uh, you know, just the, the wicked energy and vibration of, the, of this world. Okay. The, the deception because they own all the media right so they want to push this near intent they can do whatever they can push whatever they want to push you know make people feel uh, the things that is uh, wrong and right and what is right is wrong yeah it's behind them okay and, and now these things are may seem as if th this is the norm all right it says against mighty powers in the dark world and against evil spirits in heavenly places Therefore, put on every piece of the Most High's armor, so you will be able to resist it, resist the enemy of the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be able, you will be, you will be standing firm. So, what you need to do? Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body of the armor of the Most High's righteousness. And we know what this, this, this truth is. Is what inside the Holy Scriptures? All right. This is why I mentioned this in the book of Psalms, chapter 91. One of my favorites, it says, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. You see? So where is the secret place of the Most High? The secret place of the Most High is in this truth. All right? That I declare about the Yahweh alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my power and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are, are your armor and protection. You see? So we got to continue to trust in you. How about you? Shad, we'll do the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Say, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and, and are safe. Okay, so we got to continue to trust in you. How about you? Shad. All right. Now, when you're dealing with it, now reading this in uh, the KJV verse, when it talks about the snare of the fowler, we know this is dealing with Esau. The new some pestilence, we know it's dealing with this, this destruction, nuclear destruction that's coming. And the feathers of his wings, that's what we want to be, that's what we want to be covered by. Okay. Those chariots, you know, those, uh, those birds flying, okay, to protect and cover who? The children of Israel. So with that, I want to say shalom.